Hi, I'm Brent, and today we're going to talk about some of the maintenance issues for your Subarus. And this particular car we're going to use it as an example is the Subaru WRX, and it is with the five speed transmission. So it's on the older series of cars with the EJ25 turbo engine, not the two litre direct injection engine. And behind me is the five speed transmission and the original factory clutch. This particular model's got a push type clutch. Um, the driven plate and the flywheel. And what's actually happened is the previous owner of this car prior to this owner buying it less than a month ago, didn't maintain the clutch properly. We suspect that the previous workshop installed the clutch incorrectly and didn't grease the slide mechanism on the uh, release bearing assembly. And effectively what it's done is the release bearing is um, seized, locked onto the driven plate, the cover plate of the clutch, and then torn itself around the end of the gearbox which has now then resulted in damage, into the gear, damage to the gearbox as well. So come up a bit close, there's a lot of rain happening at the moment, it's a bit hard for you, me to explain, but as you can see in here, there's a lot of damage on the front part of the gearbox housing. Now this particular part of the gearbox housing here is a tube which is split in two halves, which is part of the aluminium housing in the gearbox when you dismantle the gearbox. The unfortunate part is this cannot be repaired. So when you damage this part here, all of this here, and all the back of the gearbox, except, except the transfer case assembly, has to be thrown away. And the reason is, this is what's left of the release bearing that is supposed to slide, and what it should look like is that. Now that particular part there fits in behind the clutch fork and slides up and down on that assembly there with a light amount of grease, and then that is what pushes on the fingers of the cover plate to disengage it from the driven plate of the clutch, which in turn is the friction material that works on the flywheel. Because remember, this part is connected to the crankshaft of the engine, and this part here, through the drive in the centre, is what's connected to the input shaft on the gearbox, because effectively, when you put your gearbox together, that is what's connected to the friction part of the flywheel and the cover plate, which connects the engine together as you put your foot on and off the clutch. Unfortunately, what's happened is because this has been so poorly maintained, it's now not only does it need a new clutch assembly, but this particular owner is now having to get us to pull all the components out of the back inside of the gearbox and supply two new gearbox halves to put it back together, purely for one reason only, and that is to repair the damage that has been done to this. Now, we did a re a, also a similar repair to a clutch and a gearbox assembly two weeks ago, it wasn't as bad as this. The release bearing hadn't torn around the driven plate and scoured the nose of the clutch uh, gearbox assembly. But what had actually happened is because there's no grease on that slide mechanism going in and out, the actual release bearing actually had worn down the aluminium, even though this on the models is not cast iron like the earlier models. This part here is sacrificial, but it's got grease in it. It still has some wearing effect on the aluminium part of the housing that it slides on so um, even if you run out of grease what can effectively happen is that mechanism moving in and out every time you put your foot on the clutch remember that's going in and out all the time wears it down and then it causes a squeaky sticky noise sometimes and the only way you can tell whether it's a pedal um, noise or a clutch noise or a release bearing noise is you need to pull it apart and this particular car we fixed a couple of weeks ago actually the client was complaining about a squeaky pedal and it actually wasn't the pedal, it was a lack of grease between the release bearing and this part here. But unfortunately by the time he'd reported it to us, the damage had been done and he also had to have this housing replaced. So there you have it, there's a little few more bits of information to help you understand more about your Subaru. Remember, this is the 5 speed transmission, not the 6 speed, some of the parts are a little bit similar um, on the models. But the 6 speed transmission works completely different to the 5 speed. Um, and of course, when you're using your parts from a modification and a drive point of view, choose your clutch and your driven plate carefully. Just have a close look. You can see on this particular clutch tray here, it's actually worn so far. The, be the, the rivets which hold it together are now starting to show through on the friction surface. And you know there's no grooves left in the clutch. Whereas on this particular brand new one, you see they can. So it indicates just how badly worn this is. And I'll get my camera in to get close too. On the friction surface, you'll see these spots. It's not as bad as what I've seen on other cars, but these spots, which are heat spots, are caused by loading up the clutch too much or effectively putting too much heat. And the 
cover plate is very similar as well, although again, it's not as bad as what we've seen on other models. So there you have it. Hopefully this has helped you learn a little bit more about your Subaru. Of course, you know where to contact us. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram. Send us an email, give us a call. We're here in Sydney, Australia, but wherever we are for you in the world. Hopefully this information has helped you learn and understand more about your Subaru. Thanks for watching.